protesters in Aravaca to see how the community is coming together following this tragedy. I'm here on West Aravaca Road. This is near the site where Brian Dersimo was tragically killed on August 21st, leaving behind a family of four children. Now, the town is stepping up to help. Damon found his new home in Aravaca. I moved here in 2019. <laughs> was it from uh, the Midwest and they really accepted me. <laughs> Taking over the Aravaca Mercantile, he soon became well known in the community. Being the local center of Aravaca, you kind of get to know and meet everybody. So when tragedy struck the small town, he took action. Me and another business owner in town just kind of came together and then we wanted to bring everybody in. So we started making contacts with everybody to make that happen. The community organizing a fundraiser to help the family. So we thought getting together and getting the community together to raise a bunch of money to help them would be very important. So that's what we do, try to do what's right showing what it means to be a real community. In a traumatic loss like this, communities really come together and take care of their own. The fundraiser will be held Friday, August 30th from 5 to 8 at the Aravaca Community Center. There will be a silent auction, food, and live music. Reporting from Aravaca, Joel Foster, KGON 9.